My name is David Wistow. I'm an exhibition planner at the Art Gallery of Ontario, and I'm standing in front of one of the most remarkable paintings in the Great Upheaval by a Frenchman named Robert Delaunay. It's entitled The Red Eiffel Tower. Now, the whole movement, the whole movement of this Great Upheaval is essentially centered in the cities of Europe, about 10 in total. This is really about the modern metropolis, and there's no better in a way, representative image amongst the 65 in this exhibition than Robert Delaunay's Red, Eif Red Eiffel Tower, because it focuses on the symbol of modern life. That is, this strange new construction, the Eiffel Tower, made out of a material that really was extremely rare for building. You know, Europeans were used to seeing buildings made out of stone, and suddenly here we have a transparent building made out of iron. So it was a strange thing. Parisians loved it and hated it. They thought it would fall over and kill them. They were, they were very apprehensive initially about it. Um, but eventually, 1909, it became a radio tower. So it became a kind of symbol of this new technologically based reality, right, the world. And Robert Delaunay painted it 30 times, pretty good indication of just how drawn he was to it. Now you can see it's kind of broken up. It looks it looks very dynamic in a way, and that's because I think Delaunay was influenced by time-lapse photography. He realized that the whole notion of speed and motion, which was so critical to the 20th century and coming out of all the new technologies like automobiles and airplanes and so on, that that, that dynamic had to be part of his painting. So he, I think he was strongly influenced by time-lapse photography. And here, you get the sense that he's actually moving around the Eiffel Tower. He's kind of examining it from various locations, and then he's compiling all those into one kind of very exciting um, image.